I'm having like the best time ever. Like look how fantastic these roads are. I can't even cope right now. Baby, you are born. Okay, so I was up till midnight organising my stuff um, and it's now 6am and I'm very very tired and I need to go load up my bike so I'm going to go and do that and probably get a coffee and I really don't want to get out of bed but here we are so off we go after 10 minutes Okay, so most of this stuff is now packed up. So we're gonna go load up the bike in my pajamas. I am running a little late. I promised my friend that I'd drop off some stuff in the city before I head off. Um, so just a quick little walk around. I've come to the realization that the vast majority of my stuff is being held on by Velcro and little clips. And um, it's quite a scary realization. But I guess this is just what everyone's doing, isn't it? Like, every all the luggage on your bike is just being held on by straps and stuff, and... Oh gosh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm having a bit of a meltdown because I really need the loo, but I've already put my bike pants on. I just don't know if I can make that kind of commitment to get them on and off again. <sighs> I'm gonna have to. This is gonna delay me by like 15 minutes, oh my god. I have not even made it out of Manchester yet and um, it started absolutely booking it down. And uh, I made an absolute rookie mistake. I forgot to tuck my pants over my boots. And um, my feet are very wet and it's been like half an hour. I'm gonna put these, these dry socks on. <sighs> Hating myself right now news is a full tank cost me a whole tenner. Okay so socky socks are off. I could probably, I don't think I could wring them out. They're not that wet. Okay so I have decided to make some tactful adjustments. The first one is I've now put on my helmet cam for the trip. I have my lovely dry socks on. Also have my balaclava and a long sleeve shirt on because it's really really cold. So everything's all set up to go. I've decided that I'm gonna shoot straight up from Manchester to Kendall in the lakes um, and then when I get to, to Kendall I'm gonna switch to the A roads because this is hanging and I can't be bothered going through Boland when I've been there so many times so I'm gonna get on the road. Unfortunately, I am now having an issue with my phone. Basically, I can't unlock it. Um, I dropped it before I set off, which wasn't an issue. I only got like a little bit of a uh, crack. But then when I off opened it at my last stop, um, I think some water's got in it and basically the touch screen isn't working, which is a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna grab some food and a drink have a little bit of a chill. There's not really much I can do right now until I get my sat nav, because I'm useless. So, yeah, that's a fun, fun annoyance. So I'm just gonna have to go on ahead to Kendall without any sat nav. Um, throw it in the bag, hopefully it's dried out by the time I arrive. I am now in Kendall and it's nice and sunny. It's so nice. I'm about four hours behind the schedule that I wanted to stick to. Um, so now my next goal is just to make it across the Scottish border before sunset. Um, I'm probably gonna go find a car park and a toilet um, somewhere in Kendall and maybe have some lunch. And then I think I'm going to start making my way through the lakes up to the Scottish border. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't take me too long. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling like super grumpy because I'm a bit hungry. So I got that hanger going on. 
but honestly, as I started coming into the lakes, when I started seeing all the mountains, I know that this is like my hometown, but I was just so excited. Like, oh, I'm just absolutely buzzing. I'm just, uh, yeah. It definitely helps that the sun is out. I'm feeling so much better now that the sun shines here. It's so great. So I'm gonna jump back on the bike now and uh, go find somewhere to have some food. So my phone, unfortunately, is still broken. Excuse me, do you sell maps? Oh. Water stones, thank you. Excuse me, do you sell maps? Yes, where are you at? <laughs> uh, I'm going up to Scotland and my sat nut died. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm kind of in a bit of a predicament. Oh wow, what a nice map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what kind of map I need. Go for, for the road map. Okay, let's take this then. Um. Oh, gosh. So now that I had my newfound map, which I had no idea how to use, I quickly realised that it doesn't come with markers for petrol stations. So I thought I'd do the good old fashioned biker thing and try and ask someone for directions. Oh, you want to know where a petrol station is? Uh, I'm going to nominate this guy to tell you. I'm being dragged into the conversation and I don't really know what's going on, but I'll try my best. So basically, what you want to do is, um, uh, Go down there, yeah, straight down there, definitely down there. Then uh, take uh, take a right, uh, go straight on, have a mental breakdown, carry on through that, have an existential crisis, and then um, eventually you'll see it just on your right. Now I'm not gonna lie guys, this is the first time in my life I've ever navigated to a petrol station without sat nav, so um, yeah, enjoy my slightly smug face at the end of this clip. So I have made it to Windermere, which is here. I'm just gonna basically follow the road up to Ambleside and then probably like up to Keswick and then eventually up to Carlisle. And then hopefully, I will cross the border into Gretna. So that's, that's the next goal. That's the route I'm gonna follow. After that, I have no idea what I'm gonna do whatsoever, but I do wanna just cross the border. So that's what I'm gonna do, hopefully. Oh my God, how do people live like this? I actually can't cope. Goodness. Woo. <laughs> Definitely sounded like a grinding noise. I think it's fine. Should be fine. <sighs> what kind of car park is this anyway? It's a not a bike friendly kind of car park. That's what that was. Okay, so it's very late and I'm very tired and I think I'm gonna go to sleep. It's also a little bit cold. <laughs> I wish I had a hot water bottle.
So I've stopped by a distribution centre before I get on the motorway to Edinburgh. Um, £3.50. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so down with this right now. I'm so down. £3.50 for that. This is so good. Okay, so I am currently stood in a back street in Edinburgh. Um, just had a coffee. So they told me I could probably pop my bike around here. I have no idea how I'm going to get it back out this ginnel because the ginnel's really slippery. And I've got to push it uphill, so that should be fun. Um, I'm going to do another 50 miles now, um, but then I'm going to I'm going to call it quits. I've got a sister. Um, who lives up in Perth, so I'm going to go head to her house and basically have a nice hot bath and dry all my kit off. Um, because it's also thundering, if you can hear, which is not fun right now. Um, and I look like a scuba diver. So, this is not very Instagrammable, but it is keeping me warm. Um, anyway, the rain has eased off, so I'm going to jump on the bike. Um, Luckily I brought multiple pairs of dry gloves because my other gloves have just soaked through. I've managed to dry my bike boots off as much as I can um, and basically there's not really much I can do the next hour. I'm just going to have to suck it up and hope for the best, so yeah. So after I finally got my bike out of the ginnel, which by the way took way too long, I quickly kept getting lost all the way around Manchester. The streets and the one-way system, I just found extremely confused. So eventually I asked this guy for some help at the traffic lights and he very kindly escorted me all the way to the motorway. And then when I took the wrong direction, he chased me down and made sure that I went the right way. So kudos to this guy, whoever you are. Thanks a lot. Okay, so I just woke up and I feel a million times better because I woke up in a bed and it's so vivid. Okay, so I just left my sister's house um, and I, it's been a while since I've seen her and this is the first time I've seen my motorbike and I'm not going to lie, I wanted to show off a little bit so I like did a, a zoomy zoomy away from her house but I forgot to like connect the straps for my back box so basically my back box flew off in a very like comedy style moment and then they started chasing me up the street to bring me the box and I just look like a complete tool. Probably should have connected that. Yeah. Oh, it's like there she goes. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even hear like, it. Jack, 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 so I'm just filling up before I start heading my way down to Zebra. So that's the that's the plan. But yeah. Ugh, I look like such a tool. So frustrating. Oh well. I mean this is just me all over, isn't it? Let's be honest.
Okay, so I am officially now in the Scottish borders and I was told to follow the A7 down. You can go down the A7 or you can go down the A68. I think it's the A7 I'm going down. Yes, it's a better biking road. It's, right, okay. It's, it's, a better, it's a better biking, you know, uh, Okay, I'll, bike, I'll yeah. keep an eye open for the signs then. And oh my God, this road, guys. It's pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie, it is amazing. Oh, do you know what? I definitely feel like I made the right decision traveling down today when it's sunny because I'm really enjoying myself. Like, I've had a good night's sleep. I'm all fueled up. Okay, I made some stupid mistakes this morning, but other than that, I'm having like the best time ever. Like, look how fantastic these roads are. I can't even cope right now. I'm so excited and I just, oh, oh my God. I am loving Scotland. I am like super, super loving Scotland. I don't know how I can cope going back down, seeing how rubbish our roads are compared to here. Like, sorry, England. just reached the English border now, literally. Um, this side is Scotland, this side is England. The view is very nice. Um, temperature's starting to drop really quickly. So I am now four hours straight from home. Um, it's 2 p.m. so I'm fairly confident that I can make it home before sunset. But in order for me to do that, I'm gonna have to crack on. So um, basically I'm gonna jump on the bike I'm going to carry on going down to the peaks and then when I hit the peaks eventually I'm going to jump on the motorway back to the city um, and hopefully get a bath when I get in. I am feeling a little bit unenergetic um, because temperatures have dropped uh, and a little bit tired but not at the point where it's affecting my riding yet so I'm good to go. The thing that's really bothering me is that I really need the toilet and I'm literally in the middle of nowhere so I'm hoping um, once I get through the peaks and I jump on the service station, I can stop somewhere and use the loo. So anyway, I'm gonna jump back on the bike and crack on.
Hey, you have a toilet. Um, so I'm not quite sure what happened. I think I've taken a wrong turn. But somehow I'm in Durham. I don't really know how. Whoops! So yeah, now I'm going to have to get back on the bike and... It's still not rain, so it's... Job's a good one. It's not raining yet. But I'm probably going to have to, um... Jump back on the bike and then basically try and find my way back to the city. So, whoops! Um, I can see the storm clouds coming in and I'm a little bit nervous. I'm currently three hours from home. So, best case scenario, I get really lucky and I manage to get home before the storm clouds hit. I think worst case scenario, I might get caught up in them a little bit. Um, I'm still feeling hopeful guys, I'm still feeling hopeful, I could do it, it could work, but I don't know. So it just stopped off at the service station. It's not at Lancaster, but the one just before. Um, I'm really burnt out, but I'm 90 minutes from home. So I'm gonna push on. Um, I think I've got like 100 miles left to go now. Um, and then basically the weather's holding out. It's not rained, which is a really good sign. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to a motorbike free day tomorrow. I'm tired so anyway I'm just finishing up with my brew and then I'm gonna go fill up and try and do the next 90 minutes in one go but my back hurts and my wrist hurts and I'm feeling a bit grumpy so it might be another service station stop off I'm not sure yet but we'll find out so yeah crack on okay so I am I'm home guys and um I think I'm done for today maybe the rest of the week i don't think i can ride my bike for at least a good few days um i'm very sore i'm very grumpy i'm very tired and i'm a little bit annoyed at myself that i have another trip planned for next weekend because i f what was i thinking it's just like me anyway adios if you like my videos I don't know, subscribe or something. I don't really care at this point. <laughs> I just want to go to bed.